Hi, Dr. Paul Hader, Master Herbalist and Spiritual Teacher here. Well, what do you think this is? A uh, little exposure here. Uh, well, it's uh, oatmeal. <laughs> Very tasty. We have this probably 50% of the time when for breakfast, but mostly fruit, a little bit of oatmeal, and uh, a plant-based milk, a little stevia, and just wonderful. And also, I put some ground chia seeds and flax seeds on top with uh, a bunch of different spices, just kind of like a mm, chai tea latte spices inside that. Really, really great. Now, I use oatmeal all the time and it could be sweet it could be savory it can be all kinds of different things and it really is great stuff and it goes back all the way to 400 bc probably even farther back and uh, it has super amount of health benefits i feel it really is a a superfood absolutely positively you know there's so much research about oatmeal you can just look it up i mean it's just a ton of it uh, right now i'd like to say it is a gluten-free food it absolutely doesn't have any gluten but uh, a lot of people oh it has gluten no i've been getting that a lot lately it doesn't it can be contaminated with you know other products so just make sure it's organic and has been treated right and uh, you'll be in great shape it must be organic, absolutely, positively. And a study shows it lowers cholesterol. Uh, a lot of soluble fiber, which does a great job of bringing that cholesterol down. Um, there's a ton of research showing that, absolutely. And so, you know, you can look up pages about pages and pages about that. Also, studies showing it helps with inflammation has lots and lots of antioxidants in it you wouldn't think oatmeal would have antioxidants in it but this stuff really does uh, just like green tea does a lot of polyphenols in it really good and does the body good boy you have uh, decaffeinated green tea and you have a little bit of oatmeal you get a double blast of antioxidants <laughs> really good stuff also you know, that helps the heart also. A lot more antioxidants for the heart, really good, and helps to keep down inflammation. It's an anti-inflammatory also, so we, another great thing. And, and, you know, inflammation is the first step towards disease, so I re highly recommend that a person um, allow themselves to have some oatmeal on a regular basis, at least two or three times a week. I think it's really important. I use it all the time. I mean, I make oatmeal flour on a regular basis, and I grind it up, and I have a blend tech blender. You could use a Vitamix or some other strong blender and make your own flour, and you could use it in baking, make frittatas with it, all kinds of things. I'll get into that in a minute. Also, a study shows, that, like I said, that's a good detoxing agent. It helps to take uh, toxins out of our body. It has a lot of soluble fiber for cholesterol, insoluble fiber for helping with you know lots of constipation and there are a lot of people with constipation these days <laughs> i'm telling you i come across them all the time and this can lead to all kinds of diseases also helps with metabolic syndrome if you have the big tummy and you're feeling you know overweight and uh, that takes on a life of its own <laughs> And we really need to get that tummy down. And the one thing that can help is oatmeal. And uh, it's, I have had so many people lately I'm doing consults with that are eating atrociously. And they wonder why they come down with heart disease. They come down with diabetes. They come down with arthritis. They come down with all these things. And then it all goes back to diet, diet, diet. It really does. Uh, also... This wonderful grain, which is really, really good for you. It's high in protein. And it's one of the best sources of protein. You know, buckwheat is probably a little higher, but it really is a good source of protein. Good for those who are vegans like me. And just about anybody, if you want a broad source of good essential uh, amino acids, which are really good. It has a lot of micronutrients in it. A lot of trace minerals, which a lot of people are missing in their body. And it has 8 grams per cup 
of protein, and that's that's quite a bit. So I really highly recommend it for getting a lot of protein in your in your daily diet, which is important. Um, must be organic, as I said. Uh, make sure it's not uh, you know a reputable source. You're not buying from somebody's trench coat. <laughs> Lots of trace minerals, antioxidants, uh, really good. Helps with weight loss because it makes a mucilaginous, uh, you know, balm inside the GI tract. It's very healing for the GI tract. And if you have somebody debilitated, who, uh, you know, like an elderly or a small child that's sick, oatmeal, cooked oatmeal is a great way to go because it really is soothing and healing for the GI tract in general. Also, that mucilaginous balm makes you feel very full, so you don't eat as much, and it helps with weight loss, which is a great thing. And I think it's really important to, uh, you know, eat some oatmeal for that weight loss process. No, it will not pack on the pounds. It doesn't happen that way. There's a lot of, you know, disinformation going on about organic oatmeal. It's uh, just the opposite. It helps you with weight loss. Yeah. Also, because that has all that fiber, it's really good for growing a good probiotics in your gut. And, you know, most people only have a quarter pound of probiotics. They should have, you know, five, six pounds, you know, at least four to five pounds of probiotics in our gut. And this is the basis of our immunity, our good mood, uh, the regulation of hormones and everything in our body. And the more we look scientifically at probiotics, boy, the more we see where we're interconnected with the soils and the bacteria in the soils and the, all the fungi. We even have normal normal candida in our gut, it's supposed to be there. And other fungi also, they just can't get out of control because we're not eating right. So it's really important. So eat some oatmeal, really important. Uh, also, it lowers blood sugar, which is important. And the studies show that take just eating uh, oatmeal for a couple days lowered insulin levels in our body, which is really important also. It boosts up your immune system. All those antioxidants do a great job of doing that. And it also, because of that, can help with can fighting off cancer. And, you know, our body on a regular basis kills off about 100 different cancer starts in our body every single day. So that's amazing. When we don't have a good immune system because we're not eating right, well, those cancers take off. So I make oatmeal flour on a regular basis. You know, if you want to make uh, vegan uh, cakes with using stevia. I also don't use eggs, but I use a little bit of tapioca flour, and which makes a really good way to thicken it up and stick together, just like eggs, and really great. You can make all kinds of things, even oatmeal bread, too. <clears throat> Excuse me. Also, uh, really a lot of great ways to make oatmeal. You can make it savory. Instead of using rice, you can use oatmeal. <laughs> and and uh, the steel cut varieties really work better for making savory type of oatmeal. If you want to make spices, instead of using, you know, making a Spanish rice, you can make a Spanish oatmeal with vegetables in it. Really good. Also, you know, oatmeal cookies uh, are really great. Also, if you want to make a special Latin a uh, drink that is very common here in the, in the Caribbean islands also, which uh, they just take oatmeal and blend it up and uh, add cinnamon and sweetener of your choice, and it really is a great drink. And that's a great way to get your oatmeal in every single day, and I think that's wonderful. You can drink that whenever you want. Also, you know, oatmeal fritters you're using your air fryer is a great way to go also oatmeal and your vegan burgers which is really great another way to make your burgers more meaty use a little bit of exanthine gum also to make it stick together i have a recipe called bubba burgers you might want to look that up it really is a wonderful thing it uses beets also to give it that kind of red color and your burger really nice so that's another thing to think about also uh, you can use it for all kinds of things, uh, like use it together in combination. Like I said, just when, if you're going to be using uh, some other grain, just use oatmeal instead. It really does a great job. Frittatas, and it works great for that. Oatmeal puddings, you can make it with that. Also, tabbouleh, you can make a, you know, a tabbouleh using oatmeal. 
all kinds of different things. Oatmeal squares, uh, all kinds of things. Risotto using oatmeal, uh, using a, make an oatmeal polenta um, quasi thing that would, would actually work well. For, and it has a lot of healing qualities to it also. You can cook it for dinner, you can cook it for lunch, you can cook it for all kinds of things. And great for breakfast, of course. And you can use it with, you know, veggie stocks and uh, garlic powder and all kinds of different things. Cajun-style oatmeal uh, for dinner was really good also. You can Google, you know, spicy recipes for oatmeal, and a ton of them will come, all kinds of them. And so you can actually get into eating oatmeal three times a day if you wanted to. So, but remember, it doesn't have gluten. Now, I think this is a... a a big fallacy is being spread out there. I've had a lot of people come to me and say, does it have gluten, Dr. Hader? And I said, no, but it can be contaminated. So you want to make sure you get a reputable you know, quality. It has to be organic. Otherwise, you're going to get a ton of pesticides and herbicides in it, which are not good. Uh, you know, the average non uh, organic potato has 32 chemicals in it, which is really terrible. I know potato farmers that won't eat their own potatoes, so you want to make sure, you know, that things are organic. And you can Google uh, buy organic, buy direct from organic farmers and then put in your area and Google that. And organic farmers in your area will show up on your uh, the screen and you can order direct uh, from them. We get a box of food. It's a, every week. We order on Tuesday. We get an email. We check off what we want and uh, that goes back to them. Uh, and on Thursday, we get a big box of food. It's uh, $50, but it's more than what my wife and I can eat in, in a week. It's really great stuff. And it's even cheaper than regular food at the market. So you know, you're helping the organic farmers to really do a great job. And uh, we get a lot of greens and uh, roots and, you know, all kinds of things. Zucchini, and yellow squash, and mangoes, and all kinds of different things. And your area will be different depending if you're in a northern area. Uh, you'll get, you know, the apples and oranges and things like that. If you're in the tropical areas, of course, you're going to get like us. So you're going to get more of the tropical fruits and vegetables. And so if you're in Florida, you'll get things like us. So allow yourself to uh, get rid of all the toxins in your, your body, first of all, by detoxing, which is really important. I think the premier way is to uh, do a coffee enema on a regular basis, and uh, that is a really great way to get rid of the, the toxins in your liver and your kidneys and just about everywhere in your body. Eventually, they filter into the kidneys. And so it's a great way of getting rid, rid of toxins. Even the Gerson clinics uh, use a wonderful coffee enemas. And of course, using organic coffee for that. And it gives you an exhilarating kind of feeling. And it's, I have one lady that wanted to do one every single day. I said, no, no, that's, that's too much. You know, once a week is good, maybe twice a month. I actually recommend once a month. It's really great for maintenance on a regular basis. If you're sick, you might want to start off doing more. And it's a low enema, not a high colonic type thing. You don't want uh, you know, get rid of your good bacteria, absolutely, positively. <clears throat> so if you really want to make a difference in your life, well, start eating a good you know, diet with lots of fruits and vegetables and uh, good grains like good old oatmeal here and make a difference in your life. You know, I had somebody yesterday say, what about this uh, antioxidant mix that somebody makes? And I go, well, you know what? Some of the oldest living people in the world have not heard of any of these supplements. And they still live to be very old. <laughs> and people like Shaolin monks, you know, they, uh, they've been... You know, vegans forever, and they're very strong and robust, and you know, uh, very disciplined, and then they're very good with their body and uh, very uh, athletic. So it's really amazing. And they don't really take supplements. There's no doubt about that. It's about disciplining the mind. We eat right. We take care of our mind. We have a good sense of humor. 
We take the time to do some meditation on a regular basis, and the Shaolin monks, they do a lot of meditation. And discipline the mind, discipline the body, and, and we all this takes effort. And we put the effort in to have a great life. Well, we do. There's no doubt about it. Uh, so allow yourself to take the first steps to becoming a very healthy person. Change your diet. Get away from the American diet, the hamburgers, the getting away from the pizza and all that kind of stuff. It's really killing people. And I highly recommend you make a difference in your life and move into doing meditation to discipline your mind and make yourself extremely happy and healthy. And your life will be different. If you care to get a hold of me, my phone number is 831-869-9119. 831-869-9119. Also, my email is drpaulhader at gmail.com. Just click on show more down below and all, all my contact information is there. My Skype address is drpaulhader. And uh, if you want to text me, if you want to WhatsApp me, if you want to get a hold of me, I have people from all the wor over the world. If you call me uh, late at night, I will get back to you in the morning. I go to bed at 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So <laughs> uh, I will get back to you if you live in the United States. If you live outside the United States, uh, call back during you know uh, business hours for me because uh, I go to bed early. So I before the chickens, no doubt about it. If you care to make a donation, I would greatly appreciate that. Please watch the little ads here. It helps to bring a couple of cents in our direction. And if you want to make a donation, go to paulhater.com and everything I have as far as videos and articles and everything are all there. And uh, you can peruse all the 6,000 articles and you can peruse all my videos and everything there. If, like I said, you want to get a hold of me, feel free, and I'm here to help you with the quick questions. If you want to do a consult with me, that would be great. We can set you up for an hour to up to two hours. The other day, I sent two hours with a man in Jamaica who had some health, big health problems, and he at one time was a football player. Uh, very interesting, but we're getting him on the right path now, and he's really doing good. So feel great. Enjoy life. Remember that I'm always here for you, and remember God. God is always there for you at all times. And remember the most important thing is, I love you. <laughs>